Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you a time lapse of a portrait painting that I did a little bit ago. Um, this was actually part of my midterm assignment for my Penn State water media class um, that I decided to include. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this piece because if you noticed, um, I'm not a portrait painter and I don't do people as a subject hardly at all in my art. So this was kind of part of my own personal challenge of this year to learn to draw portraits and figures and people in general and also to be able to start painting them because skin tones are hard. <laughs> So I'm, I'm very excited about this piece and I really I got some really good feedback on my critique of this piece. But the real goal of this was for me to sit down, spend a, about an hour on the sketch <laughs> and you know get a proportional face that I liked and then some kind of skin tone practice in there. As you can see I didn't really do a, t a color test or swatches before I started, I just kind of jumped right into it and that was kind of the goal. Now, of course, later on here, I start swatching colors and then I don't end up using them hardly at all. And the colors that I'm using are from my new palette. So if you didn't see the last video that I made, I was talking about what I was putting, including in my new little palette there, um, what colors, what brands and all that. So if you want to know anything about that, um, go watch that video. I won't talk any more about it in this. So it was a really a real challenge, first of all, to use my new palette because I haven't used it too much. I've only used it a maybe twice before this video. Even though some of the colors are still the same of what I generally use, some other ones were newer or in a different order than what they are in my other palettes. So I was kind of struggling to figure out what colors I should pull from. And you can see me swatching like so many different tones there and it just doesn't quite click. In the end, I ended up going with a skin tone that was very fantasiful, that's probably not the right word, very fantasy looking, very frosted, I can't find, can't find the perfect word to describe that, but I went with a very pale, colorful, frosted, fantasy elf kind of skin tone, and ended up really liking it. <laughs> now I know it's a tad bit of a cop out because I originally was going to do a really rich, deep, very orangey skin tone. But I decided just to wing it and see where this painting would take me and, you know, be a very intuitive painter for this painting. Um, which is not my usual method, but for this and approaching a new subject that I'm pretty terrified of, um, I think it was good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions about other materials that I may pull out in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'm just going to leave you with some lovely music and um, a painting time lapse. So I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to hear your comments. So leave them down below.
Thank you.